Previously on Left Behind. Otto Wiesel is the name, German Timberman. What's the deal with it being too late for people who already took Carpathia's mark? We don't still have our own free will? That is a good question. Apparently not. Kill me for daring to speak my mind or reveal yourself as a coward. As you wish! Why are you whispering, George? I'm outside. Why? We can't find Chloe. Hey, that's gotta be her. Pull open the vehicle bay door. Hang on, wait. GC. What? Maybe two dozen troops. Oh, Chloe. All right, people, we're on full alert. Based on Armageddon, the 11th book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents episode 123 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. This is good here, Private. We're looking for metal, tracks, sensors, debris, any other signs of life. Move out. Yes, sir. Patrol reported finding a metal ventilation shaft that looked like someone was trying to hide it. We need to confirm it's nothing more than abandoned equipment from the military's presence here years ago. Sharp eyes, troops. Sharp eyes. Commander, we have a runner. One o'clock. Billings, Lopez with me. Sir. The rest yes, of sir. you maintain search. Let's go. Yes, sir. Base, Zulu Patrol. We have visual contact. Single suspect on foot, exiting grid 2313 to the west. Suspect appears to be running full speed. We are in pursuit. Could be a jogger. And it could be Santa Claus, but time and location tell me otherwise. Come on, you idiots. Follow me. Take the bait. Away from the compound. <sighs> Okay, sounds good. Better get rid of this Uzi. Okay, nice and calm. You're just out for a morning jog. Need a lift? Uh, no, thanks. Get in. Hi, uh, thanks. I'm good. We want to ask you a few questions. I'm listening. Ma'am, stop and let us talk to you. I told you, I'm listening. Where are you from? About six miles west. I was underwater from the tsunami not that long ago. <laughs> How well I know. What are you doing down here? Uh, uh, running. How'd you get here? <laughs> running. Where are you headed? Home. You got a name? Phoebe. Phoebe what? Phoebe Evangelista. Have any ID? Yeah, not on me. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to have to ask you to stop and let us talk with you a minute. I'm in the middle of a workout here. We need to know your region of origin, and we're going to need to see your mark. I'm not taking off my hood or my gloves in this weather after working up a sweat. You saying you got marks both places, ma'am? Hey, how you doing? Nice morning, huh? Okay, look, fun's over. You going to stop, or do we need to do this the hard way? All right, have it your way, then. Cover. You could have avoided all of this, ma'am. Easy there. You drove her face into the dirt pretty hard. Yeah, she kind of did that on her own, sir. Band the ankles. She conscious? What? Oh, she's wiping her face in the dirt. Get her in the truck and let's go. I think you guys broke one of my ribs. Anita, you got that wet cloth? Yes, sir. Let's see if you can wash the blood off her face, will you? Ah! There ought to be a minus six ah, somewhere under ah, that blood. I don't see anything. It doesn't mean ah. it's not there. You're running her name and description? Yeah, nothing so far. Jock will be in at nine. Anita, get her printed, cleaned up, and in a jumper, will you? We'll be back. All right, then, young lady. Let me have your hand. Right first, please. No. Come on, honey. I don't know who you are or why you're in here, but is this really the way you want to do this? 
This is Peacekeeper Sanchez. I need assistance in the processing room, por favor. Hey, Ray. Mac, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be heading for... Alvi's already got a contact on the Al Hilal thing. He's headed to Abaddon, and that frees me up to be your pilot. What? Well, listen, we got the word from Buck about Chloe. You topping off the tanks? Yeah, another ten minutes. But Mac, I can't ask you to... You didn't ask me. I volunteered. That's a long trip solo even without your daughter missing. Now, unless you're going to be an old mule and pull rank on me, let's get this show on the road. Just as Anita tells you, now we get the French. Gracias, senor. You see? And are not computers. The most amazing thing. In just a few minutes, these fingerprints will be compared to others all over the whole wide world. We also read your eyes with the camera up there, honey. So don't you worry. If you have ever had a driver's license, been to college, got married, anything, we'll be able to help you remember exactly who you are. All right, Ray. You can think, pray, sleep, talk, or practice the foxtrot for all I care. I'll take care of the driving. Oh, Mac, I got a bad, bad feeling about this. Things could sure snowball on us. How so? Well, if we find out the GC has her, or we simply don't find her, we got the new challenge of getting all those people out of there. You're talking about moving upwards 200 people. My point exactly. Logistics aside, if the GC doesn't spot 200 bodies popping out of a hole in the ground and screaming to the airport, well, then something's majorly wrong. Yeah, or we're the beneficiary of another miracle. It would have to be. So, Phoebe Evangelista, <laughs> where'd you come up with that one? Mind if I smoke? Well, what do I care whether you mind or not? I've got a lot of work to do today, young lady, and you're keeping me from it. Oh, don't let me get in the way. Ah, she talks. May I stand? Yeah, you may, but I need to warn you that we're locked in here. I just want to move a little, sir. Feel free. And call me Jock. Uh-huh. You've been lying to my people, haven't you? Oh, yeah. You want to fess up? Or you want me to tell you what we found? You found something? I'll tell you. I have a proposition for you. Not interested. Sure you are. Let me take a wild guess. My freedom for a few leads? Well, you can play high and mighty all you want, Mrs. Williams. But I think you'd be open to hearing me out when the benefit to you deals with your own child. Now, what's the story with Albi? What's his game plan? Yeah, he mentioned some uh, shady character in Iran. A Manu something or other? Double M? Manu Mazda? Yeah, 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 that's it. Uh, how do you know it? Oh, Albi told me about him a while ago. Mm. He's the bottom of the barrel in the black market. Natural-born killer tattoos his victims with his initials and then celebrates each death by adding a tattoo to his own neck. Cheery. I don't like it, Mac. Yeah. Albi well, seems to think this is the guy for the job. Apparently he's put the word out on the street and he's supposed to have a meeting with him sometime tonight. How's he getting around? <laughs> he travels by scooter over there. Scooter? Yeah, because that's the image you want when you're dealing with the black market ruffians. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't say for sure until I hear from International, but this file has all the makings of quite a spectacle, wouldn't you say? Never known the GC to need any help when it comes to creating spectacle. But your baby, what's the name? Come on, surely there's no harm in my knowing the name. Phoebe Evangelista, Jr. I would have thought you'd care a little more about the disposition of your child. Look, you know who I am and what I am and what I'm not, which is a Carpathia loyalist. That's punishable by death, so why don't you Oh, no, just, just hold on, ma'am, hold on. These things are still negotiable. Don't be jumping to conclusions. Yeah, there's no that... negotiation. I will not be providing you any information to reduce my sentence. Anita? Sir? Could you open a window? It's, it's stuffy in here. I see, Commander. Yeah, I see the bars. Your point's been made. Let me make a few more points, then. We know you dropped out of 
Stanford University six years ago. We know you're the daughter of potentate Carpathia's first pilot. Your father became a subversive and may have either conspired or participated in the assassination of the potentate. Hmm? Your husband is also a former employee of His Excellency and now publishes a contraband magazine. And you... <laughs> You, Mrs. Williams, are no shrinking violet either. No. You were involved in an operation in Greece where you impersonated a global community officer. How, how did you kn know that? <laughs> High-res security cameras like the ones in our headquarters in Ptolemy can get a good enough read on your iris to match it with the one recorded when you enrolled at Stanford. So, we know you were there. Now... As it turns out, there also happened to be a lad amongst your number who murdered one of our operatives in that very building. Funny thing about him, he's from right here in San Diego. I'm guessing that's not a coincidence, is it, Mrs. Williams? I don't believe this. It's not easy to say, Buck. But we have to weigh the welfare of 200 people against springing one person in the face of almost impossible odds. First, you are assuming the GC has her. She could be anywhere, George. But even if you're right, how is that any more impossible than the situation you were in? The prisoner in that situation was a conditioned male trained to kill. And you'll recall, despite the appreciated efforts of Mac, Hannah, and Chloe, it came down to me against one of them. So, what, we wave goodbye as we fly off to Petra? Here's what I have in mind for your child, Mrs. Williams. I'm guessing you would prefer your son or daughter remains in the tradition you and your husband have begun. Obviously, that would be counterproductive to our aims. We would like to see all children enrolled in junior GC before they start school. But in your case, we're willing to treat your child as a non-entity until he or she is 12 years old. And who would raise him? We're talking about a boy, then. Fair enough. Hey, uh, you want some breakfast? Of course. Yeah, me too. What would you like? I'm not fussy. Oh, I am. I go for the old artery clogger special. Eggs, bacon, sausage, toast, pancakes with lots of syrup. You want some? No, oh, that's hilarious, sir. Look, I'll order for us, eh, Chloe? You mind if I call you Chloe? Actually, I'd rather you not. Oh, well, then, by all means. It's all about you. Just let me know all your desires and preferences. If the pillow in your cell is not soft enough, give me a holler or call the front desk I like this. Officer Sanchez? Yes, Colonel. I like the same brush this is before. Okay. Very good, Colonel. You know, food service here is just the same as at any jail, Chloe. But even a hash slinger is hard pressed to mess up breakfast, huh? <laughs> Look. Here's the deal. You know nothing you would give us is going to set you free. How would we look to the public? But I can get your execution commuted to a life sentence. It'd be maximum security, of course, but you would have full custody of your son until he's 12 years old. And that deal is in exchange for... Taking the mark of loyalty would be a given. That gets you life instead of death. But what gets you the nice facility and custody of your son is information. Albasa. Albi, it's Ray. Captain, to what do I owe this pleasure? Cut the blather, Albi. I don't like what you're doing. I'm following orders, Captain. Going to Mazda for this? <laughs> I admit, if I had more time, I would be able to do it myself. With people who are... Less risky, but there are times in a man's life when you have to weigh the options. Throw the dice. This is one of those times. No, I don't like it. I... Let me handle this, Captain. I've negotiated before. And Mazda has killed before. And so have you, Captain. Uh, well... He is a man who listens to the language of money, a language I know well. Be careful. I'll be... Count on it, Captain. Goodbye. Please sit at the table while the door is open briefly, Chloe. Yeah, right over here, if you would. Si, senor. Oh, that smells delightful, doesn't it? 
Thank you, Officer Sanchez. You are welcome, Coronel. Well, now, does this look great or what? Why, I, I hardly know where to begin. Let's try the eggs. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Did you want to say grace? Ask a blessing? No? No, oh, I will then. <clears throat> Thank you, Excellency, for what I am about to enjoy. Hmm. Well, well, they must have forgotten yours, eh, Chloe? Well, that's right. You haven't been a cooperative prisoner yet, have you? Well, it's your call. If you are looking to sell the scooter, you came to the right place. I'm here to see a menu. Albi? Is that you, Saeed? Yes, the day is long. It is good to see you, friend. Come inside. <laughs> nice office you have here. Uh, what happens when the winds blow? We move. Where? Wherever the wind takes the office. I see. I believe he is waiting for you. A moment, please. Okay. Such cultured vermin. <laughs> Two minutes, Albi. Menu is on the phone. Fifteen nicks to guard your bike. Twenty. Twenty-five. Deal. And if it's not as I left it, I'll split your skull. <laughs> it is so good to <laughs> see you again, Albi. Pay in advance. Ten now, fifteen later. Fifteen now. <clears throat> Menu will see you now. Here's your fifteen, side. And now watch the bike. Someone is approaching. Have no fear. This young woman is a guest who will be joining you. Sahib. He's waiting. But for what reason? Right this way, please. Alvi, my friend, how are you? I am well, Menu. Uh, but I must insist that my business with you be discussed in private. As usual, of course. Please sit. Uh, menu, the, the shroud does not make her invisible. Uh, <laughs> tattoo artist. She has neither ears nor tongue. Nevertheless, she does have a pulse. Well, you know what they say about my tattoos, do you not, old friend? Uh, their meaning is well known. True or not, they are effective, no? Effective indeed. So, with the right marketing, these simple tattoos alone could be quite influential. And yet I have no problem believing that each represents a real victim. Thank you, my friend. They do indeed. And who was your latest? More correctly, who will be my latest? Sorry? <laughs> it's a little problem I have with overconfidence. Sometimes I like to get the tattoo in advance. Is it in New Babylon? Coming up on uh, 10 o'clock in the evening. Oh, makes it mid morning in San Diego and still no word. Buck promised to call regardless. You remember the main number at the palace? The palace? Never knew it, did you? Once upon a time. Well, it should be easy enough to get. I'll just assume we're going to find out why. Do you remember how to make these phones impossible to trace? Uh, yeah, that I do remember. Uh, star pound, seven zero pound. Mm. You're sure? You're calling the palace? Yeah. Anything's possible, but I'm sure enough to not stop you. David said it routes the calls to uh, three satellites at the same time for reliability. Makes it impossible to trace. <laughs> it's going to show up huge on your bill. Oh, yeah, the bill. I've been meaning to give him my forwarding address. What number, please? Global Community Palace, New Babylon. Can you connect me? I'll ring it for you, sir, but they have no light there just now, and you may encounter delays. Thank you. Wish I had a speakerphone. It's your favorite song. Global Community, how may I direct your call? Crystal, please. In the potentate's office? Yes. Sir, it's after hours here. Those offices are closed. I know. Uh, her quarters, please. Who may I say is calling? I'll tell her. I need to know, sir, or I won't ring someone at this time of the night. Her Uncle Gregory? One moment. Uncle Gregory? 
Long story. Long flight. <clears throat> Gregory? Is this line secure? Not sure. Who's this? You know who it is. No, you never told me. You know I'm a friend. Why are you calling me? A favor. I knew it. I can't... No, no, believe me. I had no idea I would need anything when I talked to you. I just need information. I can't be giving you information. I'm not asking for much. I need to know if there's been any talk of an important arrest in the United North American States. It would be a young woman who... Yes, late in the day. We we were still working because of the move tomorrow. Mr. Akbar comes in excited about some break in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Local GC arrested someone connected with the Judahites. Did he say what they're planning to... No, that's all I know, really. Nothing else? That's it. He went into the potentate's office at that point. Listen, I appreciate this more than I can say. I just wish there was something I could do for you. What could you possibly do for me? Well, I... I just... I... Thank you. Would you like an aesthetic menu? What do you think? As you wish. Head back, chin up. Go ahead, my friend. You come to me, why? I need to find a contact inside the palace who will know where the meetings are to take place in Alhila. Alhila? Someone who might know where the nuclear weapons are stored. Mm. Someone who could get into the meeting place and plant a listening device. Uh, a moment, Kashmir. Yes, menu. It is no secret that you are not a friend of the potentate. I hope it is a secret in some places. Why do you not let me have Kashmir give you a loyalty mark? Any number you wish. I am curious as to why you have a 72 and not a 216. You presume me a friend of the international regime? The GC is not interested in me except in how I can benefit them. Well, I, I would... You further presume my mark to be real? I would expect you to know me better than that. <coughs> how exactly do you benefit the GC? Bounty. Bounty? You? The palace is paying handsomely for the disloyal. And what is the take for doing that kind of business? Uh, 20,000 nicks. Minus the cost of the plastic bag. Sorry? Uh, 20 large per head, the same price, dead or alive. But I find the dead more manageable. With the right size plastic bag, even the car stays clean. So, my request then, does it constitute a conflict of interest for well, Of course not, my friend. Now, I wasn't sure what my requested services would cost. Yes, you are. You are not out of the business that long. You have the people, the hardware, the... You know I have everything. It will be done. Provided you have enough money. The dramatic audio series is based in part on the book Armageddon by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. Adapted for radio by Chris Fabry. Sound design by Glenn West. Music by Steve Wick. Directed and produced by Todd Bustied. Left Behind. The dramatic audio series is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening.